Hey guys, welcome to Safi Maxed. The viewers in this video will learn how to plot data files in Origin. When you open up Origin, you will be welcomed with this screen. The data you will import into this window, which is written as book one. And if you are importing a single file, you have to press this button, which is written as one, two, three. And for multiple files, you will use this one button. So. If I keep the cursor on this button, it is written import single ACI file. So if I click, if I click this button, it will take me to a folder where I have saved my D80 file. And I want to export this file by either double clicking or selecting and then opening button. So I would like to double click it. And you see the data is now imported in the form of two columns inside this window. In order to plot my data, I just have to press at this corner of the window. So the, both the columns are now selected. Now you may go to plot tab and if I click on it, it gives me different option for plotting the data or you may right click at this position and select the plot. Again, you have given different options but i will opt for the line plot and i press the line button in this window you see the plot is uh, you see the data is plotted in the form of this curve now i can modify the the, the color and size of the curve by double clicking on it double clicking it will take me to this window and here are different options straight line option or point segments etc these are different options but I'll keep this on the straight line and again from here I can choose different forms of the line dash dotted dash dotted etc and again I want to keep this on the solid line and from this window I can change the size and I would like to keep this on four and from here you can take different colors so I would like to take the red color and then I apply this. If I apply, you see the curve size and the color of the curve is changed. Now I want to close this window by clicking OK. And by selecting the labeling, you can change the size by coming to the size window and I would like to choose 26 it is a standard similarly I can change this one I can take that to 26 and if I double click on the axis this window opens up from which you can change the uh, axis the size and the are for example I want to place this on minus one and uh, I put the increment to 0.5 and this I would like to place on one and then if I apply this you will see the axis is changed now selecting the vertical axis and doing the same thing with the vertical axis I take this to zero the increment is 0.2 but I would like to take that to 0.4 and the upper limit is 2 so I leave it as it is and that change the values along y axis as well i can format where by taking this value to two this is a standard value you can increase this whatever you want and i can add the grid line if you look i'm at the i have selected the horizontal one so i want to add the opposite line and similarly if i choose the vertical one and add the vertical one line so the curve will be enclosed inside a rectangle like this you can move the legend by selecting it to any position and by double clicking it you can add some information for example let me say I add the parameter t equal to 2 mean that this is plotted for fixing the parameter t equal to 2 and I can add the values from here by changing this and if uh, I want to add Romans I would like to alpha and here coming to Roman I can add 
You see, I deleted the title box over here so I can reactivate this from format title axis and I click on X axis, it will come over here and I would like it is COH. I want to plot this thing against so it comes over here. I can again modify this by putting any name over here so that is and at this position let me add a parameter against which I am plotting in that parameter if you want to write that in Roman then I would like to call that alpha you can change the size of this by selecting and taking the size to for example 36 and similarly you can set this size from 22 to any desired size like 36 so this way you complete your file now you can take a print of this plot and convert this file to PDF by just printing it and I would like to I would like to reshare this over here and now the file is perfectly okay.